Mm-mm, sucking <laughs> dicks. I'm like, are we in a recording studio now? We got the fingers up by the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm not gonna have any makeup on by the end of the day. <laughs> we're gonna go for a touch up. So. Oh, we're rolling. We've been rolling. <laughs> oh fuck! Did yeah. you get our karaoke? Are you dead? Oh, awesome. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's gonna be the best part. <laughs> so good. So good. Okay. Hello, everybody. It is day three of AVN 2023. I am here at the Joy.City booth with Brazzers and, of course, with the one and only Alexis Fox. You might have caught our little, like, ensemble that we were doing before the start show started. It's this fucking song. I know. This like, music really is very... <laughs> I really want to put her on a performance. I do. I'm like, whip my whip. I mean, you are you are a performer, so you know, like you're you're you're, all, you're just a performance, just existing, <laughs> just walking, just walking. You are. I have to say though, like, I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you, and you were so much fucking fun. Like every time I ever work with you, we just laugh all day, and like you're just you're such a pleasure to always to be around. Like you just have such a great spirit and energy. How do you like? How do? How, why? <laughs> how does this happen? How does? Why are you so why happy? Why are you happy? <laughs> you must be like hiding like some deep dark like secret. Is this like how you deal with life? <laughs> Kinda. Now, <laughs> while we're all light and dark, all in one, I'm very comfortable with both sides of me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> or all sides of me. <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't know. It's just a very natural feeling. Um, <clears throat> I think like when you go through some shit and you change your entire life around and you really find happy. Mm -hmm. It's just what comes out. It's yeah. just the inner joy within me and I'm around people. But I also take a lot of time away from people and rejuvenate. And that way I can I can give all of me in, in the presence of people. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And it should be like an like when people are around each other, make it an experience. Like yeah. it's an experience for me to be with you. So mm -hmm. let's let's have fun. Let's, yeah. let's laugh. It's life's too fucking short not to laugh. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And and it's it's God, we're so resilient and fragile all in every single moment. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. And it's just a really beautiful thing. And to not, it's funny, so just laugh it out and enjoy it. Yeah. Can. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. And I, I love, like, the way that you look in life. And I know that you're, you're like, a very spiritual person as well. But you're also, like, such a hard worker and such a practical person. And, you know, very much like an entrepreneur. So speaking of an entrepreneur, um, you... I mean, the last time I spoke to you, you were like, you know, you had your podcast, which I know, of course, is up for um, Best Adult Industry Podcast. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, you had just come out with your coffee, I think, last time we spoke. And now you have your own beer. Is that right? Yeah. So the coffee, and uh, which is high AF coffee. And mm -hmm. we're going to do a little rebrand because people are a little confused with the word high. And I'm like, yeah. no, I'm going to wake you up. not put you to sleep. Yeah, right, right. So we're doing a HAF. So we're going to change that a little bit. Right. Um, so... I met a local brewer here in Las Vegas. This is where I live. And we got chatting. And he's like, hey, I would love to do a coffee beer. And I was like, fuck yeah, I have a coffee business. Let's work together. Mm -hmm. So on a handshake, we literally created Cheers to Breakfast, which is, which is only sold here in Vegas. It's a mm -hmm. local brewer, you know, artisan beer. Um, and that led to a bunch of little one-offs, like stouts, this, that, and the other. And eventually it just came to this thing, like, hey, would you like to put your name on a beer? Like, you know, a simple blonde ale, which is, you know, a nice 5%. It's mm -hmm. not, you know... It's not going to blast you out of the gate. Mm -hmm. And plus, it's it's uh, palatable for a lot more people. Right. It's not like an IPA where you got to be like a beer drinker to like maybe an IPA or a stout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blind ale, most people can like just have it and be done with it. Right. Um, so I was like, fuck yeah. So we, we got connected with an artist. The artwork is super cool. And we actually used... Um, and an award show image of me when I had blonde hair, mm -hmm. so with the blonde ale, yeah, blonde of course. hair. And we're gonna switch that up. So I did a milf stout, which is like this one. -off oh, I love that. Yeah. That's a great name, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's a milk stout with my coffee in it, and we did it with the dark hair. Okay. So it's like, uh, and then we'll probably the light and the dark. Yeah, and then we'll probably do one with red. It could be like a strawberry blonde or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we'll yeah, just yeah. figure it out. We're, it's a lot of fun to do these projects. Yeah. And as another pleasure pleasure product in some way, shape, or form, mm -hmm. you know, either people love to drink coffee, people like to drink beer, people like to have sex. Yes. <laughs> so why not dip my hands and feet in all those things? Yeah. You know, and it's really fun for me to create these projects. Yeah. And it's really great, too, because you're a great representation of how, you know, somebody can be in the adult industry and they 
you know, I think everybody thinks you're so limited. Okay, you can only be a porn star and you can only make porn movies and that's the only thing that you can do. Yeah. Where I think that we're really starting to see people like you are creating a brand and creating like products around that brand. And I think that that's something that we couldn't have imagined even like 10 years ago. Yeah. And well, that's the internet, you know, and, and fans having that, you know, connection with us is more than just doing a convention once in a while. Now yeah. they're like seeing your name everywhere and they want to buy your product. They want to yeah. buy that picture on the shirt. They want to buy your calendar. They want to buy. Oh, and, and then the great thing about it is like fans are like seeing the picture of the beer and they're like, holy shit, I don't even like to, I don't even drink beer, but I like yeah. the can. Will yeah, you yeah, sign yeah. it? And I'm like, fuck yeah, we'll sign it. Yeah. So that's like. It's the cool, it's, I don't know, it's just a really cool thing to do. And why not? You have this heart, you put all this hard work in creating your name. So why not branch out in all the different passions and dreams and things that make you happy? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why not? Yeah. What else are you going to do with this platform? You yeah. don't have to just like do one thing. We're multi-dimensional, faceted individuals. So yeah. dive deep into yourself and figure out what that is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know... You're obviously very successful in this industry. You've been in the industry for a while. Um, there's a lot of new people coming into the industry, I think, especially with the advent of OnlyFans. And it's, you know, much easier to get in the door and, like, even be self-sufficient. And you don't necessarily have to even do mainstream porn, sign with an agency, all the things that you had to do before to ever get anywhere. What would be your advice to new girls looking to get into the industry? Um, talk to the ladies that have been in the industry for a long time. Get a mentor. Your mentor can help and guide you and help you, crew, you know, get through this business, create a business for you, for yourself, how to set up an LLC, how to trademark your name, how to set up your OnlyFans or your website or all these other little things. Yeah. How, like, I was fortunate when I got in, um, was it almost 13 years ago? <laughs> It's all right, girl. Fuck I've yeah. been in the industry for like 25 years. So <laughs> I'm like, like yeah, that's we're not, still you're rocking a, You're it. a baby. Woo! Let's still rock that <laughs> shit. But when I got in, like, I had Rachel Starr to look up to. And mm. she really helped me. She's a very business-minded woman. Mm. And she really just kind of said, okay, da-da-da-da, this is a business. And you can have great longevity. You can have great success. These are the things, you know, and hygiene even, and this is how you do that. Yeah. Or don't be afraid to ask me if this situation comes up and don't be afraid to say no and, yeah. and, and stick by your rates. Yeah. To have someone to, to a mentor like that is just, I don't know. It's, it's also not your agent. Yeah. So it's just, you know, that bond with another woman mm -hmm. or whomever or that person. And oh, cause men also can could use mentors as well. Yeah. And everyone. Yeah. All genders. Um, you know, just get yourself a mentor. Yeah. And that's a person that you could confide in, you could trust, you can talk to. You know, it doesn't have to be like your best friend that you're hanging out and, you know, doing parties with. Make it a person that you can, like, talk business with. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's really important. I always, like, kind of thought it would be cool to start, like, a big sister program, like, in the well, adult yeah. industry, you know? Yeah, you would think. And I like that's another thing, too. And, and, and if you are coming out and getting a mentor, listen to what that mentor has to say. Mm -hmm. It's important, you know? Um, we've made the mistakes. <laughs> yeah. So you don't have to. Yeah, so you don't have to. Yeah. Like, if we're saying, hey, this is a good suggestion, it's because maybe we've been down that path and mm -hmm. we've learned from, the, from those situations. Yeah. I hate saying mistakes because I think everything's a learning situation. Yes. Yeah. Everything's That's, a learning curve. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've really, like, started manifesting that lately in the last year. I've really started looking at... I'm trying to shift my perspective. I do not look at things as problems anymore. I look at them as challenges. Yep. And I don't look at things as failures anymore. I look at them as like experiences. Yeah. And, you know, as long as you can like learn from everything that, you know, happens to you from mistakes, I think that these are all like valuable lessons and I, and I don't regret any of them. And that shift in perspective, I feel like has really like helped me because, you know, like life can be very scary sometimes, it's especially mindset. if you're taking big risks and... Yeah, you and know. this is a big risk. Yeah. you got to realize what you're doing is you're putting everything on the internet. And yeah. even you can say, I want that scene taken down. It's already been shared. Yeah. So good There's, luck. Yeah. But, you know, like, that's the thing. That's a, a mindset. Mindset, you know, it's also a thing I would tell a, a young person coming into the industry is mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, where where's your mindset right now? Yeah. You know, you've got to have a strong backbone and a mindset for this industry. It's an adult industry. We're in adult entertainment. We're not education. Yeah. You know, in that yeah. sense. We can educate. There's some with us 
with certificates and doctorates and stuff like that. Like that yes, those are the people that can. Yeah, but then then you got to be looking at like a, a specific educational teaching moment, not yes. like going to Pornhub and watching like yeah. a stepmom scene. And like, oh, that's how you have sex with women. You please know, don't. Please. <laughs> I'm an entertainment. Yes, <laughs> I'm an entertainer. I'm yeah. not a, a teach. I'm not a real teacher. <laughs> I can play one. <laughs> Very, I feel very like well. I've had as many jobs as Johnny since. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of wondering about who's had more at this point. I know, right? <laughs> oh I have God. not been an astronaut. <laughs> well, it. you know what? I mean, we could your career is not over. We could. We could change this with the metaverse. This is actually true. In Joy City, um, we're going to be doing a lot of like VR green screen productions, Unreal Engine stuff, which is so cool because now, you know, instead of having, I mean, you know how the getting a location is always a battle. You know some of the horrible places that we've had to shoot in, okay? I, know, I, I won't specif specify, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I I can't tell you how relieved I am to like now be in a in a production place where like we'll have like one green screen studio that's always the same that has like, you know, secure parking and like is in a safe place and we can use, you know, CGI to literally like make a scene on the moon. You can be a fucking astronaut in the metaverse, Alexis. Please, you can be anything. So we're going to make the astronaut thing happen. Yeah. Now now this has to happen. This is how you manifest. Th yes, absolutely. <laughs> and you can Anything can happen in the metaverse. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay. Well, Alexis, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you. I know you got to get back to signing with your fans. Yay. There was that one guy specifically who was really annoyed that I took her away from her signing booth. She was supposed to be here. I know. He was like... Hello. I'm like, the show just she? started, dude. Where are you going? <laughs> I've Train got, of you got look, to I'll catch. be here for four more hours. <laughs> catch me today. I won't be here tomorrow except for the red carpet. <laughs> uh, can you tell everyone where they can find you online? Yes. Um, for Instagram, it's Alexis Fox Live. Twitter, Alexis Fox. If you want to catch the naughty side of me, it's mm -hmm. foxfans.com or just fox it. Fantastic. And uh, do not forget that this episode is brought to you by Joy.City, the first erotic adult metaverse, which we're so excited to be debuting here at AVN with browsers. Go to Joy.City to sign up for updates. We have a lot of really big announcements coming your way, and um, we're very excited about the new, um, the next step in the adult entertainment industry so yeah. Yeah. all right guys thank you so much for being here and i'll see you next time